Electric Israelis here and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world. One electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters and patrons and those who ordered a Tesla using my referral code. If you are buying a Tesla, please use my referral code. Uh, after more than two months with this amazing Tesla Model Y, we wanted to make this uh, video of things that we love and things that we don't. We don't love everything. And if you are considering to buy a Tesla Model Y, these certain things that you should know before you make your purchase. So let's go with the negatives, uh, the things that we don't like, some things I actually hate. Uh, they're not as many, but they are. And, uh, and then we we'll go about the things that we have, which are many, many, many more, obviously. So first of all, uh, before I say, I mean, the first thing that we don't like is, is, is one of the best things about Tesla. And of course, Tesla's technology and autopilot and uh, software update. This is the best thing that Tesla has. So why don't we don't like it? Here's, here's the deal. So for example, all Tesla cars come with autopilot, okay? And it used to be when I bought my Tesla Model 3, it's right next to me, you can see it right there. Uh, when we bought the Tesla Model 3, there was, there was an option called Enhanced Autopilot. Okay, so now every Tesla comes with an autopilot, which is basically a cruise control, adaptive cruise control, and a lane keep assist. You put the blinker, that car doesn't move. And that is not a convenience, that is a great safety issue. And I talked about it in many of my videos. If you want that option, you have to go all the way to full self-drive, which is an $8,000 option. I mean, so many people do not get that because if you want just one thing, so even though we love the autopilot, absolutely, the fact that there's no middle option or two or three options in between, we hate that. I hate that. I wish we had a, 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 a enhanced autopilot like I used to have in the, like I had in my other car. Anyway. Uh, Tesla cars used to come, many of them used to come with home link. When you come in, the garage open for you. No home link anymore. You want it? 300 bucks, baby. Don't, no good. We don't like that. Uh, connectivity. You know, uh, if you buy a Model Y, you get, so you know, this is for you if you buy a Model Y. You get a one year, uh, connectivity. You know, uh, uh, you know, it's basically a data, data plan. If you want uh, to, uh, uh, after a year, you have to pay $10 a, a month. Now, let me just say something about connectivity. Sometimes it's lagging. It's in my Tesla Model 3 as well. Sometimes the connectiv there's connectivity issues regardless that there's lag time and it, it, it gets stuck. I'm not the only Tesla owner who says this. And I only have to pay for it now. It's also not that business to be working on it. Now, these things are great, but too bad that Tesla is now it doesn't give you the option or you have to pay for it so much more and all that. We don't like that. Um, we talked about a lot of fit and finish issues with Tesla cars since 2012. But you figure after this point, you know, this is, shouldn't be like this. And yet, and I'm not the bad case. I've seen much worse than me, but fit and finish with paint. Uh, the Tesla mobile guy is coming to fix my lamp in the back, the, uh, re the rear uh, tail light. He's going to take the whole thing and put it back. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, doors issues, panel issues. So with my car, it was really paint and uh, the, the, the lamp in the back. And I have also, uh, uh, I'll show you a little plastic that connects, the, we, that protects the door. Uh, uh, when you open and close, I don't even know what to call this um, hinge, I guess. Uh, so uh, that's it. I mean, things that when you buy a car like this, you shouldn't expect. You should expect that it's, it's not like that. But with Tesla, it's things that, that, that keep lagging. Now, I, I read a report that the Tesla Model 3 made in China is like top rated in terms of fit and finish. So is it something that in the United States only happening and not other places? Is it worker skills? Is it... You know, uh, what, what is it that we still have to deal with this nonsense? Uh, la last thing that, you know, here, you're looking at it, the, the rear view mirror. See how, because of the way the car is designed, it's a beautifully designed car, the issue of the rear view mirror, it, you get used to it, but we don't like it. I have the same issue with the vault, which is parked right behind me. Same thing, it's very high because of the hatch. So the rear view, uh, the rear view view is not that great. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go about the things that we love, 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 love. First of all, it is a beautiful car. Beauty, 
I decide that it's a beautiful car. I don't care what anybody says. I know people say it looks like the Model 3, but just the front. This is not a Tesla Model 3 at all. It's a different car completely. First of all, it's big. It's huge. It is a 20% bigger. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, hatch and the cargo and the front and the back is gigantic. It, we love it. 68 cubic feet. You can flatten the seats. You can flatten the middle seat. It, the, the options are so incredibly amazing. So we love, 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 love this car. Front and back. So that is great. The heat pump. No Teslas have heat pumps. Only the Model Y. So I can tell you the, uh, the effect on range and efficiency is tremendous. I cannot wait to drive this car in the winter. I mean, in the dead cold winter to see how it does. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating tremendous efficiency, one hour per mile and all that. Therefore, because of all of these things, therefore, the real world range is really great. Now, I, I drive with no consideration to anything. I mean, if I was a little bit more conservative with the cooling and heating and speeds, I would get easy 290, 300 miles. I get about 270 yeah, on a full charge. So that's really, really fantastic. It's fantastic. And to think that this car is so much bigger than the Model 3. And, and almost the same size uh, uh, battery. It's a 78 kilowatt hour. And yet, it has virtually the same amount of a, a, a range of the Tesla Model 3. And in my opinion, having both of them, it has more real world range than the Model 3, which is what it's, it's all about. We love the uh, dual motor, the all wheel drive. Absolutely powerful, powerful thing. It makes the driving a little stiff. You know, the steering wheel a little stiff, but I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. It's really, really great. Uh, the acceleration zero to 60 is, is a powerful thing. With, this is a non-performance. It is well below five seconds. And you feel it and, and it's, and, and the power is great and the, and the speed is amazing. Again, it's a beautiful car. Really like the simplicity. The, it looks very familiar if you have the Model 3. Not too many things, not too many distractions. Really, really nice, clean, simple, amazing, amazing, amazing car. The uh, um, uh, uh, inside, uh, especially with the with this glass roof, is so amazing. The back seats, the back seats, are just great. I I, I sit in back seats several times when my kids drive. I love it. No, no, no issues. If you usually don't like seeing the back seat, the, the, the distance, the headroom front and back is just unbelievable. So, uh, 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 we love it. Now, the best part, and I will end with this. And one of my favorite things that I love in this car is taking road trip. If you follow my channel, thank you. If you don't, please do. Uh, I, we take a lot of road trips. The Tesla Model 3 next to me already has 70,000 miles, less than two years. Holy crap. And, and and this car already, we took three three trips, one really big one. So we take a lot of road trips, a lot, a lot of road trips. And if you're on a road trip car, this is it. It's great. I put my big uh, spare tire, cargo, beach chairs. You can shove anything you want in this car and you have room to spare. It is fantastic, fantastic car. If you are a person who needs to haul children and cargo and you take long trip, this is it. Great range, great efficiency, great uh, cargo play space, great charging speeds. It charges so fast at the superchargers. Okay, and there's a lot of them now coming up uh, of the 250 kilowatt. So you really, really, this car charges just like that, really quickly uh, and, and, and efficient and all that. So. If road trips and hauling children and cargo is what you do, this is what you want. You want to have this car. So I, I cannot say how much we love, love this car. And once you're on the highway, even with this basic autopilot, once you pick a lane and you put the autopilot, you know, let it go and it's great. And my love, my wife loves it, loves it, loves it. So it's really, really awesome. So what I'm asking you guys, if you are, if you have a Tesla Model Y, Please share in the comments, what is it that you like, dislike? Is it similar to what I listed? Is it different? Uh, Want to compare, give people uh, ideas of what is it that they should expect if they decide uh, to buy a, a Tesla. So uh, a Tesla Model Y, that's great. So we, we, we want to have a conversation. So uh, overall, uh, uh, 
I, 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 I marvel this car. It's the best car Tesla ever had. And I drove all of them. Really, this is the best one that they ever made. And I'm sure they're going to improve the quality and all that. So other people would feel comfortable to get into it. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.